My name is Dr. Sandra Boat, and I'm here today with Dr. Marvin Anderson, who is a medical doctor with a special interest in autism and has a clinic in Michigan where he sees children with autism and ADHD. And today we're going to talk about the therapies that we can use to really um, improve the symptoms of autism and sometimes even reverse them to a very significant degree and to arrest that process of deterioration. So Marvin, what are the most important things when it comes to treating a child with autism? Well, you know, we already ta talked, Dr. Cabot, about the GI tract, you yes. know, and, uh, and the importance of supporting that in the gut-brain connection. But that brings into the realm of uh, sometimes there's infections in the GI tract, yes. and they have to be addressed. Now, there are, there are ways to looking at the stool, sending it to a, a laboratory, and they yes. will do sensitivities, or they will do the DNA analysis, and That's they right. will give us a prescription or a recommendation of what we can use. Yes. Sometimes we can do it with herbs, uh, sometimes you can do it with things like grape, grapefruit seed extract, you know, olive leaf extract. Yes. And other times we do need to get into, uh, you know, prescription drugs for a short term. Yes. Realizing that every time we do that, we upset the balance in the GI tract and have to yes. go and start from uh, square one. <laughs> That's true. And that yeah. also happens when we remove metals. Uh, if, if we sometimes get into chelation, you know, the metals dump into the GI tract, they upset the immune balance in the GI tract, the, mm. the, the dysbiotic, the candida, and all these organisms yes. flare. We have to go back and start at ground zero yeah. and rebuild the... Uh, so mm -hmm. when we get these organisms in the GI tract, you know, and also get uh, foreign substances that are inflammatory, including things like gluten and casein, you know, yes. we set up this inflammation. Yes. And the inflammation, you know, does also involve the brain, too, because the GI That's tract right. and the brain come from the same yeah. embryologic origin. So you would recommend a gluten-free diet for a child with autism? Uh, everybody goes on that. You know, yes. most of the time they benefit from them. It's, it's one of the first things we do. Yes. yes. And a child with autism definitely needs a lot more omega-3 fats because the brain is largely made of omega-3. Now, how are you going to get a child with autism who's hard to communicate with to take the supplements that they need. What's a good form? Well, um, you know, sometimes we can mask them yes. and we can put them. There are things that we can use. We don't like to use chocolate syrup, but uh, sometimes we have to put it in chocolate syrup. Grape, yeah. uh, it, grape jelly is very, is very strong flavor and sometimes you can hide things uh, mm. in there. Um, but the, um, the omega acids, for example, are available as a, um, a little fishy or a little gummy. Yes. You know, from good companies like yes. Nordic Naturals. Yes. And those, I think, I would, I would recommend yes. uh, to, to, to get in. That's and, right. If the child won't eat oily fish, definitely the, uh, the gummies that are enriched with fish oil and other sources of omega-3 are excellent. And what about calming nutrients? Because a lot of children with autism are hyperactive. So how do we calm a child with autism? Well, magnesium is extremely important. Yes. Magnesium, magnesium. is extremely important. It certainly has to be a favorite. And following on the heels of that, you know, there are things. Glycine seems to work. I have not had as much results, good results with GABA as I had with glycine. Right. You know, but magnesium would be at the top. But melatonin yes. is important, you yes. know. Melatonin right. is, is an important calming agent. Yes, um, and it are, helps them sleep. Oh, absolutely, yeah. and it's also a very good antioxidant. Yes. So, um, so melatonin, mm. th those are the things that uh, I okay. would think about in terms yeah. of calming. Now, right. the, the other thing is, is that, you know, this inflammation, uh, we yes. have to counter the inflammation, and here come the omega oils again. Yes. <laughs> with the importance of calming inflammation, right. and then we have uh, also, some the the herb curcumin or turmeric, you know, yes. especially in a highly absorbable form. And there are highly absorbable forms that are available on the market. Yes. And and this is, an, is very important in putting out the fire of the brain. You know, we have yes. a, a fire truck. We walk around carrying a fire truck, uh, a little model fire truck about the the putting out the fire in the brain. Yes. So that right. would be uh, uh, also and important. And thank God that is possible. Um, you know, through um, nutritional medicine. Um, so we need the omega-3, we need magnesium, we need a good liver formula. The liver is oh, so important, isn't liver it? liver formula. Now, I want to tell you, and I haven't been asked to do this, but I want to tell you, may I, I would like to show you my liver formula, may I? Yes. This is what I take. 
uh, and I take two of the Livetone Plus in the morning and uh, two of the Livetones at night. Yes. And your staff here will tell you that I regularly call and I, <laughs> I order this and I make no qualms about the fact that this is what I use yeah. and this is what I recommend. Yes. Now, um, we all, there are some other things that are really important that we probably should talk about. One of them is vitamin D. Yes. You know, it's Bison. very strong for immune yes. you know, defense, and it should be measured. And even children that are in, in warm, sunny climates, you know, can still have a, a low vitamin D level. And especially like in the states, if you come from the M states, Michigan, Maine, Minnesota, yeah. where high where there's very little sunlight, yes. vitamin mm. D is extremely important. Sometimes yes. it needs to be supplemented. Definitely. So, so we measure a 25-hydroxy yes. vitamin D level. Yeah. And believe it or not, we're also interested in iron. We yes. measure a serum ferritin because iron is important in the immune response in the body. Right. And it's frequently, it's frequently lacking. Yes, it is, particularly because the children are often gluten intolerant, so they don't absorb minerals. You know, I've had um, patients of all ages who remain persistently iron deficient until you take them off gluten. I'm really glad you mentioned <laughs> that point because uh, we've talked about the importance of avoiding gluten and celiac disease, but you know there are secondary nutritional deficiencies that occur mm -hmm. uh, when you have gluten intolerance yes. and when you have celiac disease, and that could even be tested for, you know, genetically. Yes, I sort can. of recommend that in, yeah. time, in the family. That's so, right. uh, so if you really want to reverse, for example, Dr. Cabo, the autoimmune disease that comes you know, a part, part and parcel of celiac disease, mm. you not only have to avoid the gluten, but you have to supply the nutrients that the, the intestinal inflammation prevents from being absorbed. Yes, and you have you to do. supply those nutrients besides if you want to have a complete management. That's true. Agenda. So we can get wonderful results and wonderful improvement in children with autism. The sooner we start, the better. And, you know, we need to use the omega-3, the antioxidants, support the liver function, we can calm the child with magnesium, melatonin, all these natural things, which will also help uh, to reduce the inflammation in the brain as well as reduce the symptoms. And, uh, you know, I highly recommend people get in touch with you. You have a wonderful clinic in Michigan and you're promoting research that will really help to prevent autism in, in the future by doing these tests. So how can people get in contact with you? Uh, they can uh, look at the website. It's called www.autism, A-U-T-I-S-M, at A-T, Abba's Place, A-B-B-A-S, Place, dot com. Yes, and um, I'm sure you get a lot of emails. Uh, I'm sure you um, do too. We <laughs> <when> you <laughs> know what that's about, don't we? Huh? Well, it's not good for your social life, but, you know, hey, it's fun. It's interesting. Yes, yeah, and it's, it's, interesting. It, it's fun working with you. And I'm indebted to you for the contributions that you've made. And also you're helping us get this important message out about screening these children and, yes. and, and developing the specialist. Mm. And, you know, we should just uh, mention that, um, you know, the, uh, the therapies are important too. The uh, applied behavioral uh, uh, oh, analysis, yes. Yes. the physical therapy, the speech therapy, the occupational therapy in themselves probably are insufficient. Just like our natural regimen is insufficient, you have to have a combination of them That's both. That's very important, yes. And the earlier you start, the better. Yes. That's right. And so, uh, you know, I would like to just sort of uh, wrap up here, if I could. Yes. By, uh, by saying that if I had to say it uh, as a result of what I have learned all these years in writing this book in my practice, that the liver is central in autism. Yes. Because no matter where the contaminants come from, if they come from the air, if they come from the water, if they come through our skin, if they come through our food, if they come in the medications, if mm. they're in acetaminophen or paracetamol, mm. uh, wherever they come, they all end up in the liver. True. And the liver <laughs> has to somehow or another manage them. Mm. Now, in this day and age, this detoxification system of the liver is easily overwhelmed. Yes, and frequently. if you will, the liver is a great filter becomes plugged. Yes. And we have to do something to unplug it. Yes. Now, the way that we can do that is, first of all, to try to decrease our exposure to these contaminants and then to remove them from the body. And the way we remove them is, is from a healthy diet, which includes uh, lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, which includes juices, lots of water, yes. the omega acids, Liver supporting herbs, yes. especially the ones that uh, you've developed in your products, I think are paramount 
And uh, if we can do that, I think we can reverse the disease in the child and prevent it. Now, this is fatiguing, uh, it's a bother, it's hard work, but I want to tell you, it's indispensable. Yes, it is. And, you know, it actually makes your life easier because you'll see your child improving and that's less stress for you. And then you can do it for yourself at the same time, do it for the whole family. And um, it sounds complex, but I think, um, Dr. Anderson, you, you make it practical and simple um, in your book and you offer people help through your website. And, you know, basically it just becomes a way of life, looking after your liver and, and children like juices and you can freeze the juice. Um, you can make a really nice juice with all the green vegetables, um, with carrot, put some citrus, some pineapple in, and then you can freeze it. I'm and the child thinks they've got a, an icy pop or an icicle. You know. Isn't that something? Yeah. So you have to be creative, right? Oh, you have yeah. to be creative. You have to get that folic acid in there because it's so important, you know, yes. for, uh, for methylation. Yes. And methylation is important the way our genes are expressed. That's so right. it all goes down to nutrition, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah. And, you know, Hippocrates was right. Most diseases begin in the gut. And the liver, the master chemist of the body, the liver. And thank God um, that the brain is able to repair and renew itself. We used to think not, didn't we? Right. Yeah. But we now know that a tremendous amount of repair in our neurons is possible. And it all starts in the GI tract and in the liver. And you know the road to health, Dr. Cabo, is paved with good intestines. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hey, we're not being original. Hippocrates said that. <laughs> but the truth is the truth. And the truth will be forever. Um, so it's been wonderful to talk to you. And uh, don't forget to get Dr. Marvin Anderson's book on autism, how to prevent it and how to treat it and visit his website one more time. Autism at abbasplace.com. And thank you for listening.